Taurus baby. Act like y'all know it's still Taurus season. Don't don't worry about these scraggly ends. I'm gonna tell y'all about them in two seconds. <laughs> going to let you know that it's Taurus season, okay? <laughs> Taurus gang gang. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Today we're talking about a wig sent over by Wig Types. Thank you guys so much for sending over this wig. And this wig is from Bobby Boss. And this video is also another collab. Your girl was doing collabs, I don't know. So we got another collab. Yes, we are busy over here on this channel. The person I'm collabing with today, she's bringing you another Bobby Boss unit, another Bobby Boss blonde. And the person I'm talking about is Boom fire right here if you don't know who she is this is carrie m this girl be slaying y'all and she is like she's like my real friend <laughs> i love carrie i have collabed with her in the past ever since then we really got to know each other i think it's about what one or two years now carrie i don't know but carrie that's my home girl y'all like she got my number for real like in real life <laughs> <laughs> if you're not familiar with her, she does so much on her channel. She does wig reviews along with other stuff. So y'all need to check her out. She's doing perfume hauls. She'll give you fashion content. She does a little bit of home decor. She be slaying them contacts. If y'all if y'all came to me for contacts, she has multiple contact companies on her channel. So she gives you a nice slew of different options on her channel and I really like that. And recently she started opening up about her PCOS journey. So I do like that. I like I like when people are transparent. I like I like the real, you know? So y'all definitely go over there and check her out. Check to see what wig she got too, cause I'm curious. Cause we don't tell each other what wigs we got or what colors. We just say, boom, this is the theme. Boom, this is what we doing. <laughs> <laughs> and then the day that the, the night before we supposed to drop the wig like oh okay that's cute girl okay so i'm real curious to see what she has so what she's bringing y'all so if you're coming over here from carrie's channel welcome i hope you consider staying and also hitting that subscribe button because we have a lot of fun over here i do wig reviews as you can see i do skincare on this channel i do some makeup and we just have fun over here we like to laugh over here we like to have a good time you know what i'm saying let's go ahead and jump into this wig in this color because i think she's cute i think she's I think she's really cute. So I'm gonna show you guys how I put this wig on. Then I'm gonna wrap it up with some final thoughts and let's go ahead and jump into it. Told you you so extra. Keep that same energy When you go low, I go low too But you'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane Either way, baby, we could go all night We could do it all night Calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should the talk through it in detail I separate ways ain't gon' end well No But when we get back it's like oh my All bad all day but the night I Get that good good till we act right So tell me where we on the day babe I could keep that same energy When you go low I go low too But you'd rather stay high I know can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that wave. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we could share love in the ocean. But if 
you wanna okay guys so we're done putting on this wig how y'all feeling happy wednesday so today we are talking about this bobby boss updo revolution natural part wig this is a newer wig in this updo collection so i have the style mlf 419 hazel and i have the color h613627 so this wig like i said it's a newer wig in this Bobby Boss collection. I haven't seen this specific one, but I did see one style on Magical Blackness. And when I saw her with the updo, I was like, oh, I need that. Let's try it. So I have Hazel and I I like her. So let me go ahead and give you some specs. The cap feels okay. I wouldn't say really good. It's not too small. It's not too tight, but it feels just right. It is a lot of stretch in the back of the cap. So I feel like you kind of need to pull it from the back and pull it up. Overall, my braids are really flat. Okay, y'all know how I wear my braids are really, really flat, straight back. But I feel like if you had any extra bulk in here, it might just be a little bit too snug for you, but it's not as small as the Bobby Boss wigs we know from the past. So I feel like they're working on it. I feel like it is a little bit more stretchy and it is coming down pretty much to the side of my head. It says that you're gonna get 13 by two lace frontal. And what that means is you're gonna get 13 inches going across. It says two inches going back. So you can't part it all the way back, but you're gonna get about two inches going back. So your tracks are gonna start pretty close. The beauty of this style right here is this updo thing. So I was debating if I wanted to take it down or leave it up, but I was like, let's go ahead and try it. This is the updo effect right here. So you're gonna get lace just going all the way around and you're gonna get lace right here. So you can't take this down and try to part her in two or part her wherever you like. This is the way it's parted. This is the way it came. This is the way the wig is. But you can take it down. You can flip it to the left. You can flip it to the right. You could flip it wherever you want you could just wear it in the middle i didn't even take it down for y'all because i just wanted y'all to see the beauty of the updo i love the fact that they're giving us an option to put the wig in a ponytail if you're not comfortable with that like they did it for you this ponytail this ponytail is a little on the skimpy side but it's not too bad but it is a little um smaller it could have used a little bit more density in it but it's not too bad i do like the density of this wig overall though it looks full but it's kind of on the thinner side but it's not it's a good density to me in my opinion as far as the texture goes it is kind of more on the silky side but a light yakky and it feels really good like bobby boss's fibers feel amazing this fiber feels so good it's not plasticky it's not too silky it feels like a human hair dupe for real y'all like I like it. I look like a mess right now because y'all, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it is late. It is so late. I started filming this wig a while ago and I got so caught up in making short videos and reels and TikToks and kids and life that they are asleep now, but I gotta go to work in the morning and this video needs to get done. Yeah, so I left the wig. If you're noticing, it's looking a little bit scrap. You know what? Let me show y'all the length first before I tell you what I was about to say. I'm sorry. I'm scattered. I'm getting scattered. Y'all know I get scattered when I get tired. But this is what the length is looking like. Taurus, baby. Act like y'all know it's still Taurus season. Don't don't worry about these scraggly ends. I'm going to tell y'all about them in two seconds. Y'all, this is hours in of wearing this wig. So that's why it's looking like that. So this is what it's looking like in the front. If I bring all the hair to the front, this is what it's looking like. And then in the back... It's pretty, it's pretty long. Okay, so I know, I know y'all saw the little scraggly ends. We, we, we not gonna act like we didn't just see that. So when I was installing this wig, I did install this wig and brush this side out. I brushed the side out because it was a lot of shedding. But once you, once you get the hair out, it seems like it's fine. But this wig needs to be detangled. It's gonna tangle on you. On this side, I use my fingers because I wanted the waves to kind of stay, but I think you need to go in with a wide teeth comb or your fingers for sure. I had to go in with my synthetic wig spray. I had to go in with some serum. I had to do some stuff to kind of not make it look so scraggly, but I do like this wig, y'all. I got a lot of compliments in this wig. If the hair is really, really soft, I'm curious to go in with this wig with my, you see how it's getting, it's getting real ratty on the ends. I think it has a lot to do with this color. It is blonde, but I'm not worried about it because I know that if you watch one of my previous videos on how to maintain a synthetic wig, I know some people be like, I don't wash synthetic wigs. 
if you do and you want your synthetic wig to last i do have a video check it out right here on brandy wine shampoo and conditioner and i'm telling y'all i'm confident that it's going it's really going to soften up this wig and it's going to help with all these tangles so when i'm done wearing this i'm going to shampoo and i'm going to condition it and it's going to soften it up i love the way the fibers feel on this wig it is it is scraggly looking i'm definitely going to trim this up some but i do like the fibers on this wig it feels like a human hair wig i know that's like crazy but it doesn't feel too plasticky it doesn't feel real synthetic-y. It really feels like a good human hair wig. It just needs to be brushed out. It needs some serum. It needs some wig spray. But I'm not worried. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to bring this wig back to life. I already know how to deal with wigs like this. You know, I've seen a couple of wigs like this in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a good wig y'all i really do like this wig. this wig i like the color this collab is a bobby boss collab on blondes and i do like this blend of blonde on bobby boss units every time i see this blend of 613 627 i know it's gonna be a hit i know it's gonna slay it's a nice pretty color it has this nice like number four and it goes into the blonde it's like a nice ash blonde and then the tips are more blonde so it's like it fades into it and then it has the highlights like it's really really pretty i know i'm looking real dusty right now because i'm so tired i told y'all it's late but we gonna get this video done i do also like the fact that this is really really flat i went in with my ebony new york wonder bond spray in the black can i told y'all how i feel about this too in previous videos so i ran out of my bed head spray y'all know that's like my that's like my fave but i went in with this one and this wig is secure this wig is absolutely secure the reason i got reminded why i did not make this spray in my top lace sprays video check it out right here i made a whole video of the nine sprays that i like is one because the red can had broke out my skin and i was scared two this spray is gonna hold your wig down it's gonna hold it down it is this is so secure it is not going anywhere but the thing i don't like i know this is personal preference but this spray is so tight that i feel my edges being ripped out <gasps> I feel it. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but I don't like that about this spray, y'all. I take my wings off at night. I don't sleep in them. Every once in a while, I did tell y'all I slept in Freya. I don't like to sleep in my wigs for this one reason. It's too tight. It is, I know that sounds crazy. It's like, isn't it supposed to be tight? But it is so tight that it is pulling on my edges. And I, I don't like that. I do have a wig cap on underneath it, but the way it's pulling on the little pieces of hair that's on my edges, I'm just not feeling it. I don't even know if I'm making any sense. I'm probably not, because it's so late. Anyway, I do recommend this spray, but just make sure your edges are secure with your wig cap. I wish I would've brought my wig cap down a little bit more, because my edges are kind of pulling on it. Y'all comment below if you know what I'm talking about about the spray being so tight that it's pulling if that makes sense this lace this lace is beautiful it's really stretchy and it's really thin it's blending into my skin really good all i did go in with was a little bit of powder in the parting space i didn't use any lace tint spray this blends really nice down to my skin i would suggest that you walk around with like a paddle brush and like i said once i go in with that conditioner and that shampoo you know she gonna do what she need to do oh 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably gonna chop off about this much of the hair and I think it's just gonna be fire y'all it's gonna be super cute this style is for all the people that don't know how to do updos or want to do updos and don't know how to do it but I would say that I don't think this wig is beginner friendly I have seen this wig glueless but I don't know if you could get away with this effect of trying to look like scalp and coming out your hair if it's blueless but that's just my opinion in the back it is a 360 lace and you can pull it up but I don't think you the back, it's not that much lace back there, so I wouldn't suggest doing all that. There are a lot of other pretty colors and a lot of other pretty styles. There are straight ones in here, there are long ones, there are short ones, but I have the longest one. Overall, I think this wig is really pretty. This is a wig that I would consider buying again, absolutely. Y'all make sure y'all check out my girl, Carrie M, okay? See what kind of color she got over there. And when y'all go show her some love, y'all tell her that Chrissy sent you. Let me know what y'all think about her. I think she's a winner. I think she's super cute and I'm pleasantly surprised that I like this wig. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button, and until next time, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye!